I'm Jason Cowan, and um, I just uh, came here to the hyperbaric uh, treatment facility um, following a concussion that I received back in May. And I um, kept, you know, when I first when it first happened, I noticed it had taken something from me, something that was um, only something that I recognized. It was just I felt a little slowed down. Uh, stammering for words, and I don't mean verbally, but just trying to find them in my head to express myself. And um, so I gave it some time. So what was that? Eight months ago? Something like that. And um, I finally just uh, had noticed other little things. Um, then when you, uh, it's so minute, and it's only in your head, you can ask everybody in the world you know, what their opinion is, and everybody has something different. Most people say, oh, it'll get better, or that's all in your head. But um, these are things that we know about ourselves, and so finally I follow through with, with my intuition, and um, I've had, what, two treatments now, and even after the first treatment, I noticed um, some difference in my overall, I guess, just pizzazz, felt a little more pizzazz, but, um, <clears throat> and more focused. So that could be the placebo effect. I'm looking forward to regaining um, my focus, being able to uh, articulate on the spot when I'm talking to somebody, and just um, overall energy. <clears throat> because what happens is you start, um, or for me personally, start compensating in other ways. and. Um, when you're doing things in a different way than you used to do them, uh, it, can, it can erode your sense of well-being and uh, maybe even self-esteem, energy, creativity, and I can see where somebody could become depressed and then maybe lead, could lead to alcoholism, drug addiction, all these other things that happen. So <clears throat> I'm rambling on because I've, um, for a point, that I noticed it and um, I would hope that if somebody was watching this video that they would um, go, you know, I know there's something not right with me, and um, some people just say it's in my head, but only we can know that for sure, because there's no physical signs, you know. Um, so what, what I hope to get about, uh, out of this is my just sense of well-being, uh, my ability to call up words, to not forget people's names that I know. <laughs> And because uh, that leads to second guessing yourself. So we'll see. So I've had 20 dives, and I gotta say that um, it's hard to really say how much um, of a benefit because it's been so phenomenal after 20 dives. There's a lot of attached to memory, and I'm remembering a lot of things back to um, high school. Of course, I'm really looking, but I was looking um, after May and trying to um, remember things, and I'd have to back up. Um, I'm a musician, so um, I, you know, I know my sounds, I know people, and I heard something, you know, back before I started the therapy. I'm gonna give some examples. Um, Mark Knopfler, he's got a sound band, Dire Straits, and I hear it and I go, who is that, who is that, who is that, you know? It just, and who can say how things pop into your head, how you remember things, you know? Um, so, um, just the other day, it was Mark Knopfler, actually, and before I would have had to say, let's see, that's Sultans of Swing, I'd have to go to the back. You know, what was the name of that band? Oh yeah, it was Dire Straits and the lead guitarist Mark Knopfler. And now, you know, I just read the other day, oh yeah, Mark Knopfler, oh yeah. John Lennon, oh yeah. Imagine Dragons, and it's just like bam, 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 it's there. So that's the memory part. And then the other part of it is remembering the essence of who I am. Um, remembering your personality and in the fullest form, not the pale version, because that's what happened with me. And I'm just, you know, I didn't have an explosion happen, but I hit my head really hard. And I knew I did because just the sound it had in my head and how it staggered me. And 
how it felt when I went home and feeling like something had been taken from me. Well, I've gotten that back and so much more here after our, so we're 20 dives out. Um, I just I feel very zestful, full of vitality, um, enthusiastic. I've changed some habits in just this past week instead of going, oh yeah, I've got to get to that, oh, I've got to get to that, but unable to really go take the action to get it done. Little stuff. Making, instead of getting up in the morning, I've got to provide lunches, lunches and breakfast for two of my daughters. Doing the, the uh, lunches the night before. I always knew it was a good idea, but just like, hey, I'm going to get after that. So, you know, I've got my imagination back along with the, um, the will to take action to do it. It's not just a good idea. And so, um, so it's hit both ends. Memory relates to the past, imagination to the future. And so the, both of those happening, and I find myself in the, right in the middle in the present moment in a really powerful and um, present way. And I just feel like that uh, my intelligence is upon me and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens after 30 oh my gosh maybe I get a cape after 30 <laughs>